Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have a Snix here. He's probably not gonna last too long. But today we are going to be cleaning my closet. Sorry. And if you guys saw my last clean with me, I kind of did like a closet declutter. So that was kind of the prep for this step. I'm going to be switching over my spring and summer clothes to my fall and winter. I'm going to show you guys the steps that I like to go through to do this. This is also just really great if you want to maximize your space. If you have a small closet or live in a small apartment like myself and you really want to utilize your space and have a lot of clothes and have a shopping problem, this is the video for you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. I've been doing a lot of different clean with me's and organization videos so yeah hopefully you guys like this one and give it a thumbs up if you do let's go ahead and get organizing okay to get started I've kind of already done the boring work so I've separated all of my clothes from donate pile which I actually have two piles within that pile one is resale clothing and then one I just need to donate so that's kind of the first section so obviously when you're cleaning out your closet every season you should probably go through and get rid of some things that you haven't worn in the year or you just know you're not planning on wearing so that is pile number one I've also done pile number two which is most of my summer clothes so that's like my tank tops and shorts so that is already in a bin tucked away everything fit without a ziploc bag so I just kind of let that be and then the third pile I have here is just our laundry basket with the rest of my spring and summer clothing so I always like to just put everything out of my closet into a laundry basket just so I can see how much stuff I have and do one last look through before I actually put it into a space safe bag or space bag yeah ziploc space bag this one is huge I will have the link down below on Amazon because they are one of the greatest things ever you just like put your clothing in and then take a vacuum and suck it up which you guys will see me do um, they come in a variety of sizes so even if you want like smaller ones for under like a dorm bed or something they're really really great and super fun to use so I will show you guys how I pack all of the stuff from the laundry basket into that and then they go in bins and I highly recommend if you are going to be doing this and like switching out your wardrobe um, to get clear bins so you can actually see what's in them and especially if you're like going on a trip in the middle of the winter or something and you need summer clothes this way you can kind of see what's in it and know what pieces you want to pull from it if you're like rummaging through a storage unit so that's why I like clear bins you can probably get them at like Walmart and Target pretty much anywhere like that um, but I'm gonna start and put the laundry basket clothes here into the Ziploc bag the way I like to use the Ziploc bags is I take all the clothes that I want to put in them and either roll them or fold them to the best of my ability and then put them into the bag, make sure they're kind of organized and then zip the seal completely, make sure that everything fits nicely. And then I like to actually place it in the bin I'm going to be using and suck a little bit of the air out then, readjust it if need be and then do the final air suck just to make sure everything fits. But doing a little bit of adjusting because when you first go to put the Ziploc bag in your bin, it's probably not gonna fit if it's this size. But once you take the air out, it will fit nicely. You just kind of have to be patient and do some readjusting. And then take the vacuum and suck the rest of the air out and it should look kind of fun and um, condensed. And that's pretty much it. And then I just kind of repeat that for a different section. Sometimes I'll separate it with like coats from one and then like dresses in one. But for the most part, you can kind of just like put it all in and then suck the air out and then you're good to go. So I had one smaller bag so I decided to separate some like um, nicer shirts and dresses for the summer and I try my best to lay everything a little bit more flat and then I just go ahead and zip it up. Make sure this is like really on there. And then we're gonna take the vacuum, open up, <laughs> open up the seal and suck the air out. Um, and then I'm just going to place that on top because it was flat, um, it just fits nicely and I actually still have like a little bit of room if there was other things I wanted to stick around the sides. That is pretty much it. Um, and then I have labels on all my bins, even though they are clear and I do know what's in them. I do like to label them and if they aren't clear, then I'll be more specific, but I already labeled that one summer and then this one I'm going to do like spring, summer, but also remind myself that I have some spring jackets in here as well. And that's pretty much how I switch out the clothing for my wardrobe. Now that I have all of my summer clothes out of the way, I can focus on reorganizing my fall clothes. And I actually went ahead and switched out my hangers. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I switched them out. So I now have these black velvet hangers that I got from Amazon. They're an Amazon basics item, which is really great. So they're really accessible. I'll have them linked down below. 
Um, and I got a, originally a pack of 50 and then I went for a pack of 30 because I find it, uh, or I found I needed a few more. So that's what this lovely box is that I'm going to open. And then I'm going to just uh, hang some of the other fall items. And then under my bed, you guys know I have a big drawer that I keep a lot of clothes in there as well. And that was mostly seasonal stuff. So instead of having my summer stuff and bathing suits in there, I've switched that out and put a lot of my fall sweaters and other things. So I will show that as well. Could you imagine if I opened this and they were not the right color? That'd be so sad. They are. Though. I guess this means I get to go shopping now because I have extra hangers. Cody's shaking his head as well as my mother who's watching. Most definitely. Anyway, okay. Another thing I wanted to mention is every time I do switch over my wardrobe, I do wash everything before I put it in my closet. So all the fall stuff has been already through the laundry. It's not like fresh out of the bin, if that makes sense, because I want everything to smell clean and fresh in my closet. pretty much a wrap on me switching out my wardrobe from different seasons hopefully you guys liked it and maybe found some new tips or tricks if you guys are doing the same thing I never really swapped out my wardrobe seasonally until I moved into a smaller apartment so this is all kind of fairly new to me but um, I'm really enjoying the process of it and I think it's really smart to like switch things out and that way you get to see everything that you own and really like declutter it so hopefully you guys like the video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more organization videos coming very very soon and I will see you lovely people in my next video have a great day